Hello dear children of class 2 and welcome to another online class of general knowledge. I hope that you all are fit and fine in your homes and you are doing everything you can. You are taking all the precautions necessary to protect yourself from this coronavirus pandemic. Remember children, stay home, stay tucked in and if by any chance you have to move out, make sure that you have your masks on. And when you come back, also ensure that you wash your hand properly with soap and water and if possible, use hand sanitizers. Children, I also hope that you are well engaged with your studies and you have done all the homework that I gave you from chapter 1 and 2. Because today, my dear children, we will be starting the third lesson from your book, Roses. Okay, now children, you all know rose. Rose is a pretty beautiful flower and it is very popular among the people of the world. Children, rose is what rose plant is what we call a shrub, right? Why shrub? Because it has a thin wooden stem. Okay, thin wooden stem. Now, rose are found in different varieties okay and different species dear children there are about 100 different species of roses and more than 15000 identifiable varieties of roses roses comes in different colors right the most famous colors among them are red white yellow, pink, burgundy and violet. These are some of the very popular color of roses found. We have red rose, we have white rose, we have yellow rose, we have pink rose, we have burgundy rose and we have violet rose. Dear children, rose as a flower has been very popular. The cultivation of roses became, what you call, was started around 5,000 years ago. 5,000 years ago. And it was first introduced in China. It was first introduced in China. Roses were actually originally wild flowers, okay? But people learned how to cultivate them and bring them here. Now, roses are very beautiful to look at. We all enjoy the smell of the rose, the look. It is a very pretty flower. People often like to give other people roses when they have to show their appreciation or gratitude, right? But when we go to pluck the roses, we know that roses contain tiny thorns, right? Tiny thorns. If you are not careful, you can prick yourself and your hand can get injured. So whenever we are out trying to pluck the rose, we need to be very careful. In fact, children, as far as possible, what we need to understand is Flowers like roses look beautiful only when they are on the plants, in the group, right? Imagine a rose bush full of rose flowers. Sorry, not rose bush, a rose plant full of rose flowers. It looks so beautiful, correct? But if you pluck it up, a single rose flower, come on, you are breaking it. It's not good, right? So, as far as possible, we should avoid plucking flowers and we should enjoy them in their natural scenic beauty only. Now, also my dear children, if you have to know that back in England, there were two factions or you can say group. The factions of York and Lancaster. These two, you can say they were like kind of like families. Yorks and Lancasters always used to fight among each other, all right? And as their symbols, they used roses. They used roses. That's why the fight among them, the fight among the families of Lancaster and York came to be known as War of Roses. War of 
rows this. In fact, now rows is the national flower of England. Rose is the national flower of England. Now, do you remember, children, what is the national flower of our country? It is not rose. It is lotus. But you have to remember that rose is the national flower of England. E-N-G-L-A-N-D. England. Now, also, dear children, few moments back, I talked to you about different colors of roses. Now, children, different colors of roses are used to symbolize different emotions. Different emotions. Also, you have to know that there is a certain talk about black rose. See, black rose does not actually exist. It is simply a very dark red rose. It is simply a very dark red rose. There is no black rose. It is simply very dark red. So dark red, it appears black. Now children, in your book, we, what we are going to learn today in very particular as an exercise is that we have to identify different colors of rose with different emotions and expressions. I am going to solve it on the board for you in the form of match the following. So I want you all to pay very good attention to the board, okay? And learn it. We will write it, we will read it, we will learn to learn how to pronounce and spell it. Alright children? So let's see. Okay. First of all, we will write match the different color of Roses to their meanings. Let, before we start, let's go through the question once. Okay? Match the different color roses to their meanings. Okay? We have to match the different color roses to their meaning, to the emotions or to the vibe that they express. Alright children? So first of all, let's write the colored roses mentioned in your book. Number one, we have red rose. We have pink rose. We have yellow rose, and we have white rose. Okay, dear children, now let's try to match it with their meanings. So, first of all, let's see how many roses are mentioned in your book. There are four color roses mentioned in your book. What are they? Number one, red rose. R-E-D, red. R-O-S-E, rose. Red rose. Number two, pink rose. P-I-N-K, pink. R-O-S-E, rose. Pink rose. Number three, yellow rose. Y-E-L-L-O-W, yellow. R-O-S-E, rose. Yellow rose. And last one, white rose, W-H-I-T-E, white, R-O-S-E, rose, white rose. So let's see here, what does ro red rose stand for? Red rose stands for 
love. Red, what does red rose signify? What does red rose shows? Red rose shows love. L O V E, love. It means if we want to show our love and appreciation towards our parents, towards elders, towards anybody, what do we? What can we give them? We can give them red colored rose okay next time you want to show your love and respect for your parents or your teachers what you can do you can give them a red rose now dear children red rose is also very popular in india because of one more thing you know who was the first prime minister of our country the first prime minister of our country was jawahar lal nehru he loved children very much in fact he loved children so much Children used to call him Chacha Nehru. What they used to call him? Chacha Nehru. Now, as a mark of love for the children, Nehru ji always used to wear a red rose on his coat. Okay? A red rose on his coat. This red rose signified his love for children. Now, second one we have is pink rose. Pink rose is used to signify thank you pink rose is used to signify thank you okay children when do we say thank you when someone helps us when someone does something for us right so if you want to show to a person that you are thankful to them that you want to say thank you to them what color rose you can give them? Pink rose. Okay. And what is the meaning of pink rose? What does pink rose signifies? It signifies thank you. T-H-A-N-K. Thank. Y-O-U-U. -U. Thank you. Do you know it is also one of the magical words? Children, there are two magical words. They are please and thank you. What are they? Please and thank you. And to show thank you, which color rose we can give? Pink rose. Alright? Okay, third one comes yellow rose. What is yellow rose? What does yellow rose stand for? Friendship. What does yellow rose stand for? Friendship. F R I E N D S H I P friendship. If you want to show that someone is your best friend, which color rose you can give them? Yellow rose because yellow rose means friendship. And fourth one is white rose. White rose signifies. Purity. White rose signifies purity. P-U-R-I-T-Y. Once again I am telling you P-U-R-I-T-Y. Purity. Okay dear children. Now please remember that if these are the different color roses and these are their meanings. Let's revise them once again. Number one, red rose. R-E-D-R-O-S-E. -E, red rose. Its meaning is love. L-O-V-E. Love. Number two, pink rose. P-I-N-K. Pink. R-O-S-E. Rose. Pink rose. What is its meaning? Its meaning is thank you. T-H-A-N-K-Y-O-U. Thank you. After that you have yellow rose. Y-E-L-L-O-W. Yellow. R-O-S-E. Rose. Yellow rose. What, what is the meaning of yellow rose? Friendship. F-R-I-E-N-D-S-H-I-P. Friendship. And number four is white rose. W-H-I-T-E. White. R-O-S-E. Rose. White rose. And what is the meaning of white rose? What does it signifies or shows? It shows purity. P-U-R-I-T-Y. Purity. Now, dear children, these are the different 
rose colors these are the different rose colors and their meanings your work will be to learn them by heart you have to note this down in your gk notebook all right and you have to learn them by heart also along with this i will give you a short exercise on roses based on what you have listened in the video you can answer those questions all right children you can answer those questions i will also be providing you the pick of the board the pick of the board will help you to reference and to note down this in your notebook remember children the work must be done properly all right and remember what i told you about roses they look good but only on their trees we should not pluck them we should not pluck them we should not break them from the respective trees all right dear children i hope you have understood the lesson please complete your assignments thank you very much stay home stay safe